primary challenges when coming up with a new bike is uh, they all have to be very strong, they have to be very light, and they can't break. And uh, we have to do that very fast. So if we end up developing a bike and get prototypes back in and they fail in the test lab, sometimes that can mean three to six months of delay for the product development cycle. The bike season is pretty short. So if we don't get things to get delivered on time, um, then we'll miss that window. Um, having things delivered on time, since we have very high standards as far as strength and durability and performance go, means that the first prototypes usually need to be right because the tooling, there's a lot of expensive tooling involved, would need to get modified and it slows down our manufacturing partners and their ability to deliver stuff for the, the season. Anything that will decrease the amount of revisions we have to do after tooling, and the tooling is very expensive, um, that increases our revenue for that year. When we first acquired the VPP patents, um, we were using fairly simple systems to try and do analysis. And the mechanism itself was fairly complicated and close to unstable, depending on how you modified it to get different types of bicycles made from it. So when we first started, um, there were some real errors made because the mechanism was complicated and we didn't really have the tools to analyze it correctly. So when we started using behavioral modeling to analyze that uh, in more detail, we could do more iterations. And then before we'd start to make even the first prototype to ride, we were able to go through a couple of hundred different suspension iterations. So we ended up a lot closer uh, to what we wanted and we really grew to understand how the system worked a lot better. Driving innovation at Santa Cruz is usually defined as having a bike that's pretty fun to ride. So the first one is usually pretty important and the first one we make in-house most of the time. Um, and so that one's usually made out of aluminum and we machine all the stuff in-house and then we weld it in-house. Now we're able to use Pro Engineer to machine all the parts in-house. If there's a little change in the process because the engineers get a pretty detail oriented and kind of tweaky and they like to keep making changes, it doesn't drive the machinist nuts. When he makes a little change and he wants to update this, the machinist has already programmed the parts. He can just regen and everything updates. Um, you know, a lot of times we're doing this stuff, we're working on the same parts at the same time. So uh, everybody needs to be able to work together and you don't end up with so many people ticked off because there's so many last minute changes when you're trying to work fast and everybody agrees that making changes to improve the product is good, but nobody wants to get other people ticked off at them because they're doing this down to the very last minute and maybe even sometimes after the last minute. Our product development process involves uh, now kind of a, a whole suite of the Pro Engineer uh, package. We use Pro Engineer to do the uh, suspension design and all of the mechanical design, the complex surfacing, and all that's done in the same package. Nothing has to get translated out and back in. Um, for appearance models, which we use a lot of appearance models now as we get into more complex shapes that are hard to see all the facets of it on your screen, um, that we're able to make those models really fast. A lot of times from one afternoon, we're finishing up a model, and the next afternoon we're holding that model in our hands, and you can make a quick decision about maybe it's an appearance thing or maybe it's a size or a strength issue. Um, so we're able to kind of streamline our process quite a bit doing that. That's made things quite a bit faster. Probably the largest, uh, the, the most impressive metric that we have is the amount of time it takes from when we start a project to when we actually get um, parts delivered in the door. Um, so we had a 22 month, around a 22 month lead time before from start to delivery. And now we're down to a 14, sometimes as short as 12, depending on the product. Um, a lot of that's done from the increased number of iterations up front so that the iterations aren't done after tooling and after we discover things at the end. Um, a lot of that was done using Mechanica and the mechanism tools.